And in that moment, this is what Jacob said. He said, when I awoke, surely the Lord was in this place and I was not aware of it. <laughs> Jacob was not seeking after God. He was not in hours of travailing prayer. He wasn't going to a church meeting. He was on the run. And in that space, God met him and awakened him. And in that moment, he said, surely God is in this place. I pray that this week, this month, this year, that there would be a move of God upon your life where you would sit back and say, surely God was in this place. That I was, I was not even aware of it. That I, I, I was running away from God. I was doing this, but God intervened in my situation and broke into my space and showed me a greater reality of what it was. And he called that site, the city was called Luz, meaning light, and he called it Bethel, meaning the house of God. That this is the very house of God, the very gate of heaven, one of the greatest revelations of heaven on earth. This is a gate. What you're experiencing and tasting right now is the very house of God. It's a gate of heaven and words and life and freedom and hope are being injected into you through the power of the Holy Spirit this day. I think of Jesus in Mark chapter 5. He was called to go and pray for a young girl that was very, very unwell. And by the time he got there, this, this young girl had died. So much so that the professional mourners and wailers and those that were family and friends were preparing the body for, for a ceremonial washing and for a funeral. And Jesus turns up and says, guys, this young girl is not dead. She's asleep. Well, of course, he was mocked and, and told that he was crazy. But the reality was he could see heaven's reality over a situation. In the natural, it looked like she was dead. But in heaven's eyes, in heaven's reality, she was just asleep and was ready to be wakened up. So Jesus moved some people out of the way and he brought his disciples in and the parents of the child. And he said this in Hebrew. He said, Talita kum. And if you're a... Uh, you know, from a Hebrew background, I apologize for my language there. But they were the words that he spoke, which simply means this young girl in our vernacular you could say, sweetheart, wake up. Two words that he spoke over her, wake up. And this girl was raised back to life. I tell you, there might be some things in your situation today that feel like they've stopped living. They feel like they've died. But just two words from the power of God, two words from the heart of the Father, wake up, wake up, be awakened, rise again, can bring life and hope and freedom into your situation today.